Do you like collectibles? I think you do. Gold and silver collectibles. Why? Welcome back. How you doing? Plumber Sacker here. I'm going to go pretty quick through what I got for you guys today. Um, lots of gold. Everything's pretty much pre-1900s. I think you're going to love it, honestly. But we start off with some capped busts. Right here we got an 1823 half cap bust dollar. Very good looking cap bust right there. Next up we got an 1836 cap bust half dollar. How about a 1830 cap bust half dollar? That one's not the best condition, but you can still make everything out, which is the most important part. 1862 seated half dime. B4 condition. Still make everything out on it, not bad. We got a 1886 one dime. Not bad condition on that one. Ooh, more cap bust, huh? How about a 1821? This one might not go up. Super early there. That's a good one. I like that. All right, let's get into some gold now. We got a ever rare $1 first year 1849 Liberty Head. I think they only made these for one year. <laughs> Highly collectible stuff right there. I got a 1909 $5 Indian head. Gold, old gold. How about another 1909 Indian $5 in BF condition? I told you, if you like collectibles, here's where it's at. Two and a half dollar Indian head, 1908 XF condition. 1909, $2.5 XF condition, Indian head. And a 1881, $5 Liberty head, AU condition. Not bad, not bad so far, eh? Didn't even get into the chunky stuff. How about a 1925 D, two and a half dollar Indian head, MS 63. Gotta love that graded old gold. And then we got a 2009 Great Britain, one quarter. I'm not even sure what that is. I'll have to look that up. I didn't see that. I thought that was another Indian. We'll come back to that one. We got five gram Pamp Platinum. How about we dig into a little bit more gold? How about a 1925 $20 MS63 Double Eagle? Ah, love them. Beauties right there. A 1923 PCGS MS63. One ounce, sir. To change the schedule from 9 9.30 p.m. to 11.30 a.m. My life's been crazy lately, but I want to get in an auction. I don't want to miss another Saturday, so we're just going to do it. We're going to let it ride. See who shows up. See who wants any. There's a 1894 half ounce, $10 MS condition, Liberty Head. 1907 MS condition, Liberty Head. That is a $5. And if anybody's interested in some very old Mexican gold, I have a 50 pesos, 1.207 ounces of gold. Kind of rare to see those. You don't see them anymore. Those are the older, the older ones. All right, let's get into some Morgans. My favorites. 
1886 MS condition beauty eighteen seventy eight eight tail feathers first year Morgan and it's got the eight tail feathers highly sought after a nineteen twenty one peace dollar not the best condition there but it's a peace dollar about a nine two thousand nineteen proof V cam PR seventy V cam Libertad Love me some Libertads. And for the five ounce, we got a new five ounce. This is the latest in the series, The Rising Sun, Black Flag. I got some other five ounce. I got some 90%. Here's some currency. I'm gonna fly through this currency because if you're interested, you're interested. If you're not, you're not. There's a $5. Confederate. Here's a ten dollar Confederate. These are all very decent condition. Now these are all consecutive numbers on the one dollar bills. I think there's twenty five consecutive. I got two rolls of those. Here's a hundred dollar Confederate. I haven't seen one of these before. Here's a $2 certificate. These are nice. I'm not even in currency and they look nice. Here's a graded $1, 65. I got a nice variety for all, anybody that wants to stop by. We got something for everybody in this auction. Plumber's clearing house right here. All right, let's go through a little bit more currency. There's a $20 Confederate note, AU condition. Here is a 25 cent note. I don't really see those pop up too much. I know they're not super rare, but 75 cents. Another $1 silver certificate. Another silver certificate. That one's a little less condition. And here is a Federal Reserve note, $1 XF condition, nicely slabbed right there. Not graded, but it's slabbed. Big slab too. And last but not least, the Federal Reserve Bank note 20. It's a very fine 20. Federal Reserve Bank Note, Chicago, my hometown. You do not want to miss this auction. I'll tell you what, I got something for everybody. It's going to be massive. It's going to be crazy. Last time, my LCS jumped on live with us. Didn't come on live, but he came into the chat, gave away 12 ounces of silver, two one ounces, American Silver Eagle, a regular round, and then a 10 ounce to top it off as the EOS. Couldn't believe it. He shocked everybody with that. We had a great time there. I do have some generic one ounce gold. I got some 2022 Libertas. I got what you want. Stop by. Join us 1130 tomorrow morning Eastern time. Don't be late because we're going to get right into it. This is the Plumber Stacker. See ya. Thanks for watching the Plumber Stacker where I show you my stack but not my crack. Please like, share, and subscribe.